All right, we're here at the lathe now. So the first step, of course, is going to be getting the new or the block chucked up and set. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my um, gauge here. All right, so this, of course, is a rectangle. Um, and the four jaw, not really a problem. Let's go ahead and go out with two of them, quite a bit. So I can tell before I even bother start adjusting it way off on this way because this block's thicker than the one I was using yesterday. All right, that'll probably work for a starting point. So I'm not sure if you can see the gauge here. I'm gonna turn it your way a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, since this is a square, is we're looking for the lowest possible spot. So it's about right there. So go ahead and zero this. Good enough for now. So then I'll go check the other low side. So this side's too high. So I'll loosen this up a little bit. All right, so it's close enough for now. So now we're gonna do the other ones. Now that I've got the um, more or less square in there, I'm gonna go ahead and face off the end of it. I'm gonna go ahead and put a pilot hole in it while I have it spinning. Go ahead and use this pilot drill here. So now I'll go ahead and put the uh, big drill bit in. It's a one inch drill bit. Okay, now that I got the front side done, it's time to go ahead and flip it over to do the back side and cut it to final length. So I marked this so I know which way is up. That way I can put it in there and hopefully not have to do as much uh, readjusting. Just put a little blue on there. Dicum blue guys. Blue dicum, sorry. Blue dicum. Alright. This one is supposed to be 150 millimeters in length. So of course we'll measure from that on that side. Make sure we're zeroed. So it's gonna be about right there. So we'll go ahead and mark that all with some blue dicum. All right, so we got it marked. Time to go ahead and put it back in the um, lathe. So I'm going to go ahead and dial it in again. Ah, uh, I didn't put it high enough up. All 
Okay, now that we got it dialed in, we'll go ahead and uh, get my cutoff tool in here. Um, that'll do. Got to put it in gear first. I'm going to cut this a few mil on the outside so I have room to face it down to the line. Extend my tool out a little bit. close okay so now we gotta flip it back over okay now it's time to start the boring uh, normally I really don't like to have a boring bar sticking out there like this but in this case I have no choice and it doesn't really matter anyway So I'm pretty 29.8 right now. So I got five millimeters to go, give or take.
Okay, so now that I got that done, it's time to uh, bore the bearing recess. So I'm gonna shorten this boring bar way up so it's controllable. All right, so the bearing's called for to be um, 41 by nine. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, blue dike them this up. All right, I'm reading 40 right now, so. All right, that side's done. So I'm gonna flip it over again. Okay, so this time the indications are gonna be a little different. Um, I wanna indicate the inside of this hole, so I make sure that the whole thing is kind of concentric with itself. Um, the question is, how do I make that happen? There we go. Okay, because it's backwards now, so the bottom needs to come upwards. Helps if you tighten it up a little bit. Alright, there we go. So now I'll go ahead and mark it up again with the blue dicom. Thirty nine point five. All right, we're done on the lathe. 